Hi guys, so today we're checking out the Red Rock 4x4 Baja Upper Replacement Grill with LED lights fitting all 2016 to 2018 Toyota Tacomas. So one of the easiest and most affordable ways to switch up the front end aesthetic of your truck is to add a grill. And this option by Red Rock 4x4 is gonna be a great choice to take a look into. Now this is gonna be a direct replacement to your factory grill that is going to absolutely clean up the look of the front end of the truck while adding a honeycomb design in the middle, getting rid of that factory emblem, and it's also going to add a sleeker and more blacked out look to the front end of the truck. Now what I do like about this is that it is paintable so if you do want to color match it to your factory color code or match it with any other color aesthetic you can definitely do that but this is going to add a more sporty and Baja look to the front end of your truck as it says in the name. Now what I do really like about this is the fact that this is going to come with LED lights up at the top. Those are going to add some extra styling and they're also going to make you more noticeable on the road to other drivers. Now the other thing that I do really like about this is not only is this going to be for styling purposes, but it's also going to add some functionality as well. Because we don't have as much going on up front, we just have this honeycomb design which does add a very nice look to the grill. This is going to increase the functionality of it by allowing a lot more airflow through the grill and that's essentially just going to help cool your engine down, get all the airflow in um, and help your truck run a lot more efficiently. Now with all of that being said, this is going to come in at roughly $200, making this one of the more affordable choices for a grill on the page. And I personally do really like that because not only, again, is this going to offer styling, but you're getting LED lights in the grill itself, which some other options are not going to include. Now some other choices on the page that are going to be a little bit more expensive may include LED lights, not necessarily a marker light like this. They may include a light bar, or they're just going to offer a little bit of a different design design. Instead of more of a Baja look like this, they may have a wire grill or a wire mesh grill or a riveted accent, which is just going to add a little bit of different styling. Now it really kind of comes down to your personal preference in design. However, if you're looking for something affordable and that's going to add a sporty look to the front end of your Tacoma, this is definitely going to be it. So as far as install is concerned, this is going to be incredibly easy to install. There's very minimal wiring. I'm going to give it a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It's not going to take you any longer than an hour to get this thing installed. So speaking of the install, let me run you through that right now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, a panel removal tool, a flat head screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. So the first couple of steps to taking off our grill are going to include taking the two clips off of either side of the grill. And there are two 10 millimeter bolts up at the top that we need to remove. So you will need a panel removal tool or a trim removal tool for the clips and a 10 millimeter socket and an impact wrench or a ratchet in order to remove those top bolts. So I'm gonna start with the clips. You can also use a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes these can be a little bit difficult. So I like to use like a pry tool like this. We do the same thing on the other side. Then we can remove the two top bolts. And then all we have to do at this point is pull up on each of these arms on our grill and then give it a good pull back. So now that we have the full grill off and on the table, we do need to replace the center section with our new upper grill. Uh, what we need to do is remove the couple of screws that are holding it in and push the tabs through so we can push it out of this uh, grill surround here. So for this, you'll need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna start with all of the screws and then we can start to push it forward. So the screws that you need to remove are in line with these tabs here. Um, now there are gonna be a couple of other screws. Those are going to be for the actual surround. So making sure that this is attached to this center grill here, we can start to remove it. So starting off, we're gonna take the trim piece off. There is an outer trim piece to this center grill. So this is going to be every, basically every other tab. So they will come out pretty easily, but if you need a little help on some of them, like this one down at the bottom, it's being a little bit difficult, we can use that flathead screwdriver 
and push that through. So now that that trim piece is out of the way, what we can do is focus on the center part of the grill. So again, this is just gonna utilize these tabs as well. That's why I'm using this flat head. So it may be a little bit difficult to get it started. We just wanna pull on the face of the grill and push these tabs in and through. So before we pop our new grill into our grill surround, I did want to stop down and show you guys a little bit more about this new option, especially next to our factory one, and show you some of the similarities and differences between the two. Now, as you can tell, this is going to be a big upgrade from our factory grill. Just as a brief overview, our factory grill is made out of a plastic material. This one in specific is a chrome finish. Some other options may have a black finish similar to this, uh, or they may be set up a little bit differently depending on your Tacoma. Um, now ours has the chrome finish. It also has that large Toyota symbol in the middle, but when moving over to this option, you're getting a way sleeker look. Now this is going to have an all black design. This is an ABS plastic material, so if you do want to paint it, you definitely can do that. However, it is injected molded and that black finish is going to add a very sleek look to the front end of the Tacoma, uh, especially if you have a bright color like we do or even if you're a fan of just a blacked out look. Now this is also going to have a honeycomb design and get rid of that Toyota symbol in the middle. Now it's going to clean up the look of the front end of the truck, but it's also going to add more of a sporty design and increase airflow considering that you don't have this large emblem in the middle. Now I personally really like the simplicity of this design, but it does add a lot of style in the meantime. Now what I do really like about this and what our factory grill is not helping us out with is some accent lighting up at the top. Now you're going to have three LED markers lights up here. These are going to be obviously LED like I just said, so they are going to be incredibly bright. They will have an amber color to them, adding a nice pop of color to the front end of the truck. And these are going to wire right into your daytime running light or um, the running lights in general. Uh, so whenever your running lights are on or your headlights are on, these are also going to illuminate. I do really like that. It adds a lot of styling to the front end of the truck without having to do a whole lot. And this comes with everything that you need in order to install it. The wiring is incredibly simple. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Now again, I do really like the simplicity of the design here. It's going to be functional and it's going to clean up the look of the front end of the truck once again. So what do you say we go ahead and install it? So what we can do next is just pop our grill into place. Now we're not going to have to use any of the screws that we removed for the factory grill um, because this is not going to have a outer trim piece that we need to secure. This is going to fill up all the space in our grill surround. So really all we have to do is just pop it through. This is going to have the similar style tabs that our factory grill had. So we can just line up with the factory mounting location. Just give it a good press. Now that everything is in place, what we can do is install this on our truck and then we can go ahead and wire everything up. So now we can just line up our grill just like we took it off. Pop these two top arms back into place, take our factory hardware and secure that down. So for this, we'll just need the 10 millimeter socket. We won't need that trim removal tool because we're just popping those back into place. Tighten those top two screws up. And then we can grab our wiring harness and start to wire. So now that our grill is installed, what we can do is wire it in. Now I unplug the marker light over on the side of the headlight. It's very difficult to see, but it's over all the way on the side here. Once you unplug it, you're gonna see that it has two wires. Now the white wire with the black trace is gonna be our ground. The purple wire is going to be our positive. And we're supplied with a couple of clips here that we can just tie into those leads. So I'm gonna start with the negative. And how this is gonna work is there's two channels here. One is capped off and one goes all the way through. And the one that goes all the way through is going to handle the wire on our uh, wiring harness here. And then we're gonna put the wire from our grill in the capped part. 
and this metal piece we're going to clamp it down and that's going to connect the two wires. Take our negative wire and stick that into the capped side. We can take a pair of pliers, clamp that down, making sure that the metal piece goes through both of them. And then we can just clamp this down, make sure that's clipped on and that's secure. We can do the same thing with our positive. Once those are clipped together, then we can just plug this back in. And after that's plugged in, then you're all set to go. So that is going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and products just like this. And always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.